Here's Pulowski to Luffer uh, to uh, Chris Richards. Richards uh, flick pass out the back, but it's uh, oh, it's dived on there by uh, Robert Clark, but he's knocked it on and we'll have a scrum. About five minutes to go in the grand final. And Hay can start to pull the tops off the champagne bottles right about now. All right, it goes to Sherman. Sherman searching for the halfway line, but he's pulled down about eight metres short. He'll get up and play the ball. Danny Barn Burns in a dummy half. Burns goes for a scamper on his own over halfway. Gets it inside, outside to uh, Raymond Woods, and Woods is knocked over. Danny Burns has been hurt in that tackle. He gets up and plays. Uh, there's a reply. Oh, Neil Nesbitt has it. He runs across field, finds a runner in uh, McCulley coming through, and McCulley's tackled about uh, 13 metres in uh, to uh, Rankin Springs territory. Neil Nesbitt. On it goes. To, and there's an, another replacement player on there. I'll see if I can pick him up in number 16 for the Magpies. I'll probably give them all a run there. I think it's uh, Peter Hutchison. Giving them a feel of what it's like to play in a winning grand final side. At any rate, they've played in plenty... A lot of grand finals, hey, Magpies. He's uh, Chris Richards is a bit of trouble down his own goal line, in goal, but gets out of it very cleverly, makes five or six moves before he's tackled. Oh. He's a crowd or something, Lee. No. Maybe one. Mm, one. Yeah, all right. Yeah. Two. All right, scrum packing down. It's a high ball. Nesbitt from the scrum runs across field. Dummies to one runner. Picks up uh, Sean Bunyan and Bunyan's tackled. Well into the concluding stages now as Hattay in possession through lock forward for Bunyan. Gets the ball away to, uh, I think it was Neil Nesbitt on his outside and he's tackled. He'll get up and play the ball. It wasn't Neil Nesbitt. It, N Nesbitt has it now. He gets the ball out to... Uh, I can't say it is. Uh, one of the Hay players, he manages to get it to Dean Whitehead. Whitehead gets it outside. Here's another try on here for the Magpies. Oh, ticky ticky touchwood. That was by the defence. And Justin Campbell gets number try number three. And uh, now it's 38 points to 10. Show the Southern Cross. <laughs> All right, Campbell, Justin Campbell coming in to attempt to convert his own try. Gives it plenty of air, and it's no, it's flagged away by the linesman. And um, with about three minutes to go, Hay 38 have well and truly wrapped up the grand final as they lead Rankin Springs 10. Chris Richards restarts the game and you can almost bet that David Chay will take this, he does. No, it's not a scubber Woods. Here comes Woods back to the line. He's met there by a couple of defenders and including Jamie Coy and he's flung to the ground. He'll get up and play the ball. Nesbitt has it. Here goes Zani Deacon, the replacement player, running strongly, Deacon. As he got, I thought he dropped the ball, but he's still got it. He'll play it. 20 metres short of a halfway line. It's Hay Magpies, 38, leading Rankin Springs, 10. In the dying moments of the grand final, it's Andrew Sherman for the Magpies. 10 metres short of halfway. Danny Burns goes to uh, dummy half. On to Neil Nesbitt, to Gubber Woods. How many times have they done that since Woods has come on? Woods gets up and plays the ball. Neil Nesbitt. Nesbitt back inside to David Shea, running strongly. Shea will take it to the halfway line and where he's held up. He'll play the ball. Only seconds remaining in the grand final. It goes to Nesbitt. He'll kick downfield. He, Robert Clark's underneath it, takes it nicely. Runs back to the, um, towards the line where he's met there by two or three players and he's wrestled to the ground. Chris Richards still trying his heart out for Rankin Springs as he goes forward. It's only formality now, as far as um, Rankin Springs are concerned. Matty Pulaski darts away from dummy half, makes a good gain of seven or eight metres too before he's tackled. Colin Parsons, cut out pass to Col Eldridge, and he's met heavily there by uh, Ben McCulley uh, with the help of Neil Nisbet. Smitter to Parsons. Parsons still trying inside to uh, Stuart Vering, but he runs straight at Andrew Sherman, and the big front rower holds him up. 
Oh. Out it comes to Richards. Richards kicks down. Oh, I don't think he meant to do that. It's gone straight up in the air. Gubber Woods is underneath it. He's gone behind him. Cleaned up here by Raymond Woods. The defence come in here on top of him. Must have, there's a little knock in. A little knock on in there. Colin Parsons to feed the scrum. Out it goes to Stuart Vering, to Steve Smetzer. They'll be looking for try to put some pride back in their effort here. And here's a chance too for them. It's Ian Loof darting through on the ball, but uh, there's a high player back there to clean it up and guess who it was? Neil Nesbitt, I think. Okay, it's Hay in possession. 30 metres out from their own line. They lead by 38 points to 10, very close to full time. Nisbet has the ball, goes to Woods. Woods goes forward, he's met and put on the ground. Really good effort by the Magpies. They're just too strong on the day for Rankin Springs. McCulley, the big second rower. Burns to Nisbet. Paul Bunyan. Plenty of uh, defence there, though, though, to meet him. He get up and play the ball. Splinter Woods to Neil Nesbitt. Nesbitt running across field, gets it to Danny Burns, who puts a little kick in over the top. It's going to be picked up here by Colin Parsons. He runs back towards, straight into Neil Nesbitt, and he puts him down right, on the, right in the cricket pitch area. Rankin Springs still going forward, still trying their hearts out. Charlie Prince goes to the line, he's flung over. He's still going, Prince gets away from one, and it's all over. There it is, the 1995 Group 17 Carlton Grand Final. Hay Magpies, 38, have defeated... Rankin Springs 10. Thank you, Elizabeth. Thank you, ball boys. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Man of the match. Man of the match. Justin Campbell, the winger. That's my man of the match, anyway. Still going, are we? Oh. Well, it wasn't a bad grand final. Played in the right spirit. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. You want to say a few words for a game? What? Ladies and gentlemen, hey Harold. Who's man the, Harold, who's man the match? Yeah, good guess, wasn't I? <laughs> 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 to high winger Justin Campbell, who had a beauty, scoring three tries and kicking a heap of goals, and he will enjoy uh, a few nice cold Carlton's tonight. Hey Magpies, 1995 Carlton Group 17 champs. That's what you want, don't you? Enough?